morning everybody it is the morning of love to reef 2023 and what a gorgeous morning it is i'm sure it was like this last year actually i have to check out the previous video so we've got loads of jobs on this morning i've got to package up these corals that i'm taking down with me i'm gonna hit the road for two and a half hours down to essex and then we're going to check out what love to reef has to offer this year Super excited, but it's a glorious morning here in the UK. So, without further ado, let's get cracking on. So let's go in and grab the Dragon Soul. Uh, here's, these kits are brilliant. If you're not a shopman, just an independent kind of hobbyist, they come with everything you need, a little foam base, a little cups, a little styrofoam boxes, well impressed on eBay. Uh, Coral Supplies, Coral Supplies UK. Yeah, give them, check them out, see what they like. Let's get the base hollowed out here. Nice big hole. I don't know how much you're getting here. Let's check it. There we go, guys. Just can you see though? I don't know if you can see. Don't know what you can see. There we go. Anyway, we've got our poly box here. Now I should have bought smaller poly boxes. These are a bit. <laughs> these are a bit big for one little coral, but. These are what came in the kit, as it were. He looks quite, quite happy in there. Again, just a tiny, tiny bit of active carbon, just in case the coral gets stressed out on the way to Essex on the M1. Maybe I should have some carbon as well, just in case. So just a couple of, couple of flakes in there, guys. That's that. Yeah, the carbon just absorbs any toxins released by the coral if it's a bit stressed. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. This is this is the first time, so hopefully you're getting this. Just gonna wedge him in a bit. There we go. Put the lid on. Nice and tight. There we go. So, what do you think? I don't, know, I don't know what you can see here. Now that is one happy dragon soul torch coral, isn't it? Yeah, super, super nice. As you can see, guys, the, the lights aren't even on, on the aquarium yet. It's still about five in the morning here, so it's a little bit early. We're going to push them into one of the corners. There, just to keep them upright. There we go. Push them into the corner there, keep them up right. Uh, right, we get some packaging around it just to hold it. Always good to have a bit of packaging. Right, put the Amazon packaging first. There we go. Sorry, you get, I don't know you get this, guys. Put the Amazon packaging in first. Place that down there. So we don't need a heat pack because this. Outside at the moment it's about 10 degrees, but it's about 16 today, and it's going to be sat in the car as well, so it'll be absolutely fine with all this insulation in. Get out! What are you doing? What are you doing there? You're in your daddy's tea, aren't you? <laughs> Goodness, the cat wants to get into every bit of action, don't you? Feel like you're missing out. Right, it's time to get the tea on and then hit the road. Let's top up the flask. This is my work flask, guys. Oh, top it up there, nice Yorkshire tea gold. This is how you make the perfect cup of water. Cravendale. <laughs> Add. Done. Put it on. It's a bit hard doing it all one handed to be fair. So put the lid on. Are you watching this? The cat's watching. Shake. Done. Let a bit of steam out. Perfect brew. Right. Let's hit the road. Navigate Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. 
Advanced Aquarium Consultancy Limited Essex, Coral Farm Harlow, Latin Bush Centre. Hey, found it! Or select another entry oh. from the list. Well done. I am well impressed with that. I managed to find it on the sat now. Right, let's bang that in. Let's go. Set up and established by uh, Fish Palace. Paul from Fish Palace. Check out his Instagram. He's just a keen hobbyist like you and I who loves the marine hobby and just wanted to set up his own show. The AC, can't wait to get into Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. Uh, Essex Harlow, one of the UK's very best uh, aquarium shops. All sorts of things in there from, from your kind of uh, your dry goods, electrical, uh, what is it, marine stuff, corals, fish, whatever you're after really. It's all down there. Absolutely loved it last year. Can't wait to go down this year. Also got a little pre-order on, so hopefully we get some um, some of my pre-order. So Paul, who runs it, does a fantastic job down there. What is a classic? Oh my God, it's a classic Ford Cortina. That is stunning. I wish I could show you it. Really nice, really nice. Must be going to a show or something. Anyway, uh, yeah. So Paul, who runs AAC down there, yeah, such a great guy. Uh, runs a really good show at the shop and I've ordered some uh, sun coral uh, don't really know much about sun corals apart from that they like to be in quite dark shaded places and I've got the perfect spot just inside this cave uh, the cave section of my nano reef I think it'll look really good I get all that on the video as well it's exciting stuff I don't know how big this video is gonna be but it's gonna be lots going on and who else is down there? I can't think who else is down there. Anyway, just those and a few others, but I've forgotten who they are. Again, this is sponsored by Mind, not sponsored, but it's a charity event, should I say, not the video. It's a charity event. So all the proceeds, all profits from this reefing event is going to Mind, the mental health charity to help us through those difficult times because reefing is a great hobby if you are you know feeling a little bit down struggling need something to focus on something to cheer you up something to spend your money on <laughs> reefing is really great for that it's such an escape hobby you sit there as i always say with a cup of tea enjoying the reef just watching life watching the fish and the corals and even the little crustaceans like the crabs and all that sort of stuff. sit there and watching their lives just makes your life so much better so I really enjoy that so yeah all for mind all profits are going to mind and I'm really excited for this one so you've kept me company for a little bit I think I'm gonna stick some music on now I can't have music on on the YouTube channel because they banned my video they are miserable I was gonna play some classic 90s noughties hits for my generation but I can't play them on here because they'll ban me on YouTube so we're going to leave it there, get on with the journey. I've got about another two hours left and then we'll be there. As soon as we get there, we'll be live again on the video. Hope you're enjoying this, guys, and hope you stay watching. If it gets too boring, fast forward this bit and get straight to the, uh, to the Love to Reef. Let's go. So we've just stopped at the petrol station. One with the Greggs, obviously. So we've just topped up with the Greggs. He's like, the sausage rolls have just come out of the oven. I was like, yes, get in. Hot Greg sausage roll is the perfect start today. There it is. Now that is what you're looking for. Also picked up chop chip cookie. That looks super nice as well. And a bottle of water. And a full tank of diesel. So we've got 48 miles to go. And uh, so excited. So let's crack on. We're back, 2023, love to reef. And here is the main man, oh, Paul. You right? Yeah, very good, mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Excited? Uh, yeah. I've just gone the wrong way. I went into the other room that we were last it? year, but of course we're going bigger and better it's, this it's year. It's an upgrade. Yeah, we're going uh, into, are we in the main hall, are we? Yeah. Superb. So let's, uh, yeah, let, can I have like a little preview, yeah, pre-show preview for the channel? Right. It's still being set up. But Exclusive. Yeah. And the lights are all on as well at the moment. Oh, superb. So because this year, guys, we're going 100 uh, attendees in the reefing hobby, we've gone to the big hall. So who's with us today, Paul? Uh, TMC, Reef Factory, 
uh, Ecotech via Exodus. Wow. Uh, roof oh. nutrition. And a couple of others. So here we are. Oh my goodness, we are in the Got main into. hall here. Wow, look at this, guys. This is a reef. Love to reef 2023. Here are the stall holders all setting up, getting ready. And this is where our keynote speakers will be as well today. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. Look at this. One of the largest reefing events in the, in the south of England. So what we'll do, I think, is we'll have a little pre-show preview and have a little look round, see what's about. What a setup this is. These guys here around the room and these ladies spent a lot of time probably prepping these events this morning. And I know you lot are just as excited as I am to get in, having a look round, having a little shot, seeing what's about. So I think, should we have a look? We'll start, we'll start at one end and work our way down. So one of our guests is Tropical Marine Centre, TMC. Oh, I love that as a geographer, look. Sustainable goals, looking at sustainability, making sure that all parts of the hobby uh, has limited impact on the actual world's reefs. So yeah, I really like to see that when I'm uh, buying and I'm looking at purchasing corals. So here we are, this is the TMC stand, guys. Such a range of products here, loads and loads of stuff going on. Um, we've got some skimmers there and lighting. Yeah, check out, they've actually got their own channel of TMC, they've got their own channel there as well. Uh, here is the new dosing, Reef AccuDose. Yeah, and they've got some UV sterilizers, return pumps, all the works there. What's this here? Oh, this is a brand new. A relatively new product there, the the, the um, UV sterilizer. Yeah, so lots lots to pick through. Quite like the little wave makers for my little nano. They'd be they'd be grand, wouldn't they? They do they do just the job. Now one of my favourite and also from from day one uh, the salts TMC. So I use Tropic Marine Pro Reef. I've used it for two and a half years now absolutely love their products but they've got a full range here most of the stuff I've never used or touched so I can't recommend anything here but um, you know this is like a chemistry lab of various different dosing products salts uh, everything there as well so I actually I love their salt I've enjoyed it from day one it keeps my parameters stable as I say I use this one here uh, the Pro Reef Salt, not the cheapest, but um, it has been really good for my reef tank and they're along with Tropic Marin as well. In fact, I think this whole stand all the way across to here is actually TMC. So here is some of their, I haven't seen these in real life, this is the Next Wave 60. I know on their channel they've got, um, I think it's Colette who's growing uh, various different corals for that is a smart little tank, yeah. I would actually say it looks smarter than the Red Sea Max Nano. The appearance wise, nice little streamline uh, reef led light. If you've got a little office, a, you know, a small, a small office, kitchen, yeah, that's not gonna take up too much space and it's got a nice demoed scape in there. So that looks really good. And then they've even got uh, kind of a filter area at the back there with the skimmer yeah I'm quite impressed with that actually that looks super nice a few more bits and bobs there I think this is like the nano range by the looks of it so this is kind of my area as it were so yeah you got the nano range um, and then some foods and various other bits and bobs as well so that's TMC they've got a big setup here at the uh, at the show and hopefully they they do well and make make some money so here is the Ecotech stand, probably one of the most popular uh, lighting uh, brands and flow brands, uh, wave makers, dosing pumps, all that sort of stuff. I've had, as you know, uh, the little Radians here, very, very popular reef lights. They're all good now. I think that the manufacturers have got that good at making uh, the reef lights. You've got the Hydras, you've got the AIs, the, the Radians. They're all good. They're all good. But the Radians are what I've got on. And I've really liked those. 
uh, and the G6 which is the one that I'd like to have that's the uh, the one that Moggs has got uh, super super nice um, really nice light so the ever popular Apex Neptune is uh, uh, kind of the automated reef system it's absolutely awesome I know it's quite popular here in the UK as well next to that I've just been chatting to um, the guy on the stall what's your name Jim. Jim I've just been chatting to Jim here on the stall he's, in, he's told me about these um, liquid level sensors now I don't know if you've seen these this is a really smart bit of kit for your apex it goes with your apex effectively they are uh, sensors that control the levels either in your water in your sump or in your in your ATO and soon as the level drops it will then let you know on the app and then it will automatically then turn on the ATO and replenish uh, all the levels in the sump so this is uh, the ex example here you can see here when the level dropped to below about three uh, three inch in the water then it's automatically then the apex has kicked in and it's topped it right back up to the existing levels so all of these bits of technology that just help us with our reefs to be successful uh, and this is another great product you've got different sizes so the largest ones tend to be for uh, ATOs this one is your classic sump one so those people looking for a sump one this is the, the kind of 15 inch one and then you've got a small one here perhaps more for uh, maybe a nano setup or something like that but yeah, it's great to be at the show because you get to see all these new products as well alongside some well-established popular ones that they've got here. So this is uh, Ecotech. I hope they do well at the show today. I'm sure they will. They'll be very popular. Love their products. Always have done. So here we are at Coral Essentials. This is what the, the last stand on the row here. Uh, this is one of Steve's favourite products. Also, I've got a few bits and bobs from here, actually. So I've got the... Where's the phosphate one? Yeah, I've got this one here. The phosphate power-up. Uh, that is a, a good little product. If your nutrients are dropping low, especially, obviously, your phosphate, um, just a few drips of that in the sump. That really works. But they've got a full suite of products here uh, for all your reefing needs. You've got uh, lots of micro elements. So if your ICP comes back saying that you need to buffer any of these micro elements, you've got all of those there as well. You've also got your macro elements here. You've got your calcium, your magnesium. Uh, your, uh, what else have we got on that side? Alkalinity as well. So all your macro elements is there as well. It's absolutely everything that you possibly need. And you've got, you know, you've got the full suite. And I know this is what um, this is what uh, Steve Moggs' aquarium's gone on to. He's gone on to the CVE. He really rates it. He said his corals and colour and everything's going really well. So, yeah, check out his channel. Have a look at Moggs' aquarium. Uh, see his reef, see his corals, but I know he uses this product now on there. They're, they're absolutely thriving. They really are. Even got a little product guide here as well. Might take one of those with me. Yeah. Coral Essentials. So here we are at Reef Nutrition. What a nice little setup this is. All your feeding needs here. So what I'll do is I'll just take you from left to right, guys, and show you what we've got. So first of all, we've got this uh, chart here showing you the different size of the pellets here that you've got for different fish and coral species. So here is your first ones. These are kind of your, your small sample pellets. You can see there. Yeah, absolutely uh, Nice little pack, that would last me ages, that would, you get so much in there. You've got the, uh, probably would last me a year on my tank. Uh, so you've got different size ranges for different species of fish. And what I really like about this, guys, if I just show you over here, you've got the feeding chart. So you've got your food products at the top there, you've got your foy, uh, phyto, your oyster, you've got all your different feeding products, and then you've got your fish species there. And it tells you which ones is most appropriate for your... Uh, type of fish in your reef. I have never seen anything like that. That's pretty cool. Really useful, especially for a beginner who's not sure what to feed when. That is a really great thing. And then on the back, you've also got, look at this, check this out. You've got the inverts and you've got the coral feeding as well. So it tells you, again, different foods to feed. So I'll give you a little exclusive. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a reddish colour. This would go really well in the, like the Eheim auto feeder or uh, in the new uh, reef factory auto feeder. This would be great type of food. 
But again, I was just chatting to uh, the, the, the experts here and they were saying, just mix up your feeding, you know, varied foods, help with the health of your reef and also with the health of your fish. The number one product, guys, apparently is this here, the Oyster Feast. Um, really popular product. Also the row, which I don't, real organic eggs is what that stands for. So these two together have been really popular, um, especially if you've got antheas and things like that, really high demand uh, fish that need regular feeding. And again, yeah, the, f the foods, reason reasonably priced as well. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. I've learnt more about feeding, especially from this guide here, uh, than I've ever done in my life. So yeah, a really great product. Reef Nutrition, hopefully I have a really good day today. Lots of sales, but yeah, check them out. I'm sure you can find them on the internet as well. There is a little flyer here telling us more about their products. Yeah, so you can check them out and find out a little bit more. So here we are at Reef Factory. I've just seen this company go from strength to strength over the last two years. It's grown so much with its product range. So I'm going to take you through its product range. Really exciting. So one of its base products is the ecosystem itself uh, using the Reef Smart app. And then all of these devices, guys, talk to each other just to make your job as a reefer so much easier. So here we've got uh, some of the Reef Flare Pros. Now, I know, actually, um, the Bearded Reef actually has these on his uh, tank, and he really rates them. So check out the Bearded Reef's channel. Yeah, he's got the Reef Flare Pros, the mediums, I believe. Uh, and he really likes those for the coral growth. You've actually got all the uh, macro elements here as well. Uh, as part of the product range as well as uh, the ICP test which is something that I didn't also know that they did and a bit of merch you've got to have a bit of merch haven't you it's great stuff a bit fun so some of you viewers in fact probably many of you now we've even chatted about it on the live stream here is the smart feed this is the first time I'm seeing this great looking product and with summer coming around I know many of us will be out and about on holidays and things uh, or if you've got high demanding fish like antheas that need regular feeding this is a fantastic little product um, so it's auto, auto timed. Uh, I've got the Eheim, which is the old version, as it were. This one actually, oh, we're getting a demo here as well. That's brilliant. There you go. It's, I'll tell you what, the first thing I notice about that is it's a lot, a lot quieter than my Eheim one. And it also connects up to the app. So rather than having to mess about with the digital screen, which is a bit of a pain, uh, you just program your feeding times, number of feeding times, and also how much you want it to feed uh, as well. So yeah, if you've not got one of these guys and you're going away for weekends, weeks away, or holidays, yeah, definitely get yourself an auto feeder because your fish will, will thank you for that one. Again, there's always nice product advice as well. Uh, here's the reef mat from Reef Factory. They've turned all the lights off here in the uh, event, so it's a little bit dark, guys, but I uh, hope you can see. I've just moved out the light. So this is the, I believe, the small version here. So this might be for your kind of 250s-ish, something like that, your small reef tanks. Uh, they do a medium and I believe also a large as well in there. These filter rollers, every, you know, lots of people rate these. There's various different ones on the market, but this is the, this is the smart roller. Again, it all connects up to their uh, smart reef app and their ecosystem as well. Uh, here is the base pump. Now this is, uh, again, it's a bit of an exclusive. This one is not out yet. This is a return pump by Reef Factory. Again, they all talk to each other. Uh, so if, for example, your auto feeder comes on, then your, uh, your return pump can switch off to let the fish have a chance to, to eat the foods and things. So again, it's just a smart, clever way of using technology to, to do the jobs that you want it to do in kind of an automated way. Here's the, uh, probably the, I'm guessing their best seller. I, you know, so many people have the KH Keeper. Um, great product and probably the most important parameter to, to be measuring is your alkalinity. And this measures it 24 hours a day um, on the app and you can keep trace of, of that very important parameter to keep stable. But there's a KH Keeper. It looks quite smart actually. Quite like the, uh, the little light in there and the, the design of that. Um, I know a lot of people who I'm friends with uh, have the KH Keeper as well. So guys, here's a little drum roll. This is the exclusive, the only two in the world. Well, one has made it here to Harlow, Essex, for Love to Reef. 
it's the Smart Tester. Now, this is an exciting product that's just been launched. Effectively, it will measure four parameters. Look at the smart design, actually. Let's just take that in for a second. Really smart design, gloss black. Yeah, I quite like the look of that, actually. It looks really smart. Uh, if you can see on the poster behind there, uh, this is the inner workings of it here and you've got these different cartridge elements uh, for each of the main um, parameters that you might measure your nitrates, your phosphates, your calcium and your magnesium so effectively this is two products in one it will test and it will correctly dose as well so if your magnesium drops it'll test it, it'll tell you on the app and then it'll dose that magnesium level or, or whichever one you choose you can interplay it as well so you could have magnesium for a month and then you might swap it out for uh, the calcium one whichever one you fancy so some absolutely brilliant products on the show I do like a bit of packaging as well so that you can see there some products that are available there what's great about this guys is you you know you can build it up over time just buy one product at a time depending on your budget and then you can add to it over the years because most of us spend many years in this hobby add to it over the years and build it up over time but yeah here's reef factory uh, great products hope they hopefully they have a great time at love to reef and make make some uh, make some good money as well but yeah absolutely brilliant it's good to see him here we are guys at Eco Marines. Now I've been so excited for this because Laura was here last year. This is Laura's own coral company. Uh, and you can see here, let's just take you through. Whoa, my goodness. Some absolutely stunning pieces. So we're gonna start with the LPS because obviously that's my favorite. So at the back here, we've got some nice like ultra green torches. I hope these are coming out in the video as well. Uh, nice like uh, lemon tip with the green. Um, polyps there, really nice that one at the back, I really fun sell. And the first thing I noticed actually, just uh, an, in an interlude, is the price. Yeah, really reasonably priced, like torches here, 65 95 Yeah, these are going to go out the, out the door very quick, I'm sure. You've got some nice, oh, holy grail, I mean look at that there, holy grail torch there. With the blue tips as well. Have you got, you've got double head there, double head. Uh, they are really nice actually, uh, really nice pieces. And then you've got your golds, which um, are usually from Australia. I'm not sure where They're these were. These are Indonesian. Yeah. So are all your corals Indonesian, pretty much? No. No? There's a mixture. There's a mixture. A lot are, yeah. A lot of them from Indonesia. I know that's a, a real hub for UK reefing uh, for corals. That one's a really nice one there. Gold and blue tips. Yeah, I think the corals, uh, the torch corals are going to be, I mean, if I just, just look at that, the colours are incredible. Um, they're really, really super healthy corals. Uh, here we've got some frog spawns down at the bottom. Yeah, some nice little frog spawns there. And then we're treated to a nice array of fun gear plates. Now, I think these are beautiful. I picked up a fun gear plate last time I was here, actually, uh, from AAC. I absolutely love these corals super bright and then you get the movement as well from the uh, from the polyps they are really nice that looks like a an orange slice doesn't it really cool then we've got our plating corals over here so we've got lots of chalice various different species of chalice there uh, that one there the, the fanta chalice i really like that one in the middle that one's really nice um it's really nicely coloured up. Now look at these guys. I have never ever seen this species of, of uh, hammer. The black hammer. It looks stunning. Get a bit of a close up on that one. It's like, I, I think it's like the Avengers style, isn't it? It just looks cool. A really cool uh, coral for your reef. Um, yeah, really nice. And then we've got some lovely um, Favias and Gonis. The Gonis are just having a little sleep at the moment they'll come out because obviously with all this setting up and things corals just like to be in the same place all the time don't they? so once they've settled in in an hour they'll be all out there as well uh, here's the anemones wow anemones there bubble tips some nice bubble tips rose bubble tips there as well some lovely green ones but i think one thing that's really standing out actually is this mushroom here look at that guys kind of uh, pink and yellow in the center Reminds me of like, you know the sweets, the fruit salads. It looks like a fruit salad that does, doesn't it? It's really nice. It's just so bright as well. That's why it stands out. But there's a lovely array there of little 
mushroom corals and then we've got the GSP now that is you know such an underrated coral I really like GSP and 20 pound you know so that's a bargain really isn't it and that grows really nicely on the back wall and stuff <laughs> like that then we've got our zoa collection here we go it's a nice little different collection of zoas and there's like a menu so you can like pick as many as you want for for uh, a set price as well and then some SPS I mean look at the coloration the SPS there now this is not my area so I can't name the SPS to be honest I'm not very good at that uh, but you've got some nice uh, Acroporas there and also I think there's a few millies in there as well that one does look like a, a little millipora and then down here I've got lots of gonies by the looks of it again uh, again they're just settling into their day but they look absolutely superb so all these corals are, are completely uh, completely well from imported or grown here aquacultured and there's some really nice pieces Laura's does a fantastic job yeah check her out eco marines some of the best corals I've actually seen here in the UK lovely range lovely health let me just see if I can get a, a little shot down there you can see that everybody who's coming today is in for a real treat here I think there's going to be some empty wallets by the end of it Oh, here we are at Shez Pink. I mean, look at this for a display. I feel like I'm actually submerged in the sea. So we've got the Florida Recordias here. They look absolutely superb, don't they? Really, really nice. And then you've got the jellyfish lights. Oh, it's just, uh, it just takes your breath away. I feel like I'm in an underwater world here. So this is Shez Art. She was here last year as well, selling uh, her, her own made artworks. It's just stunning. So you've got various different things for lots of budgets. You've got kind of, yeah, two, five, ten, yeah, stickers. There's something, you know, for everyone. Uh, this is what I showed last year on my video. So these are actually corals that have been recovered and are now all painted up there. So they look absolutely fantastic, don't they? They do. Yeah, super nice. So you must check her out, Shez Art. She's on Instagram. Uh, she's also on uh, Facebook and Messenger on WhatsApp as well. But let's, I mean, this here, this, I'm draw, this draws my attention because that looks like a world. I know it's a light bulb. Then you've got a cat and then you've got some beautiful angel fish there. That is a stunning piece of art. Can you imagine some of these in your reefing room? They'd look really good. Oh, there it is. Shameless plug for Paul there, love to reef. Looks brilliant. And this one here, I remember this one here last year as well. Look at that. Uh, it's a stunning photograph. Painting, painting, not photograph, painting. Yeah, it's all painted like uh, with a luminescent paints. That is beautiful. Again, some more here. Look at that, that's an A-can. I wish you, if that was actually real, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of pounds there, aren't you? That would be, uh, if that was here for sale as a coral, I'd be tempted to buy that one. One of my favorite fish that I've never had. There you go. There is the blue spot jawfish. So that's uh, a fish that I'd love to have, but never really had one yet. And some lovely pictures here. Here's another kind of, um, great large piece of artwork here it looks stunning with the uh, look at that the skull so vibrant colors like sophastrias on there you've got your torches you've got your digi it looks so realistic i'm not very good at naming the fish so we won't name the fish the zoas at the bottom as well and there's a goniopora look at that that's kind of popping under the uh, fluorescence yeah, you know, if you want to just theme up your room, where your, where your fish room is, your aquarium room, this is a great way to do it, isn't it, really? Just really is to make, to make it look, set the scene. And obviously the blues from your aquarium lights will really make this pop out as well. So here we go. We'll just uh, have a look back at this scene here. And it does feel like you're underwater. Yeah, she has pink. Such a talent. Check her out on Instagram. Absolutely wonderful. So last but not least, here is Aquaprint. Uh, I, you know, I love this. I love this company. This is one that I've bought a number of little bits and bobs from. 
uh, they kind of make all sorts of reefing goodies. You've got your uh, mushroom cups here. You've got your interchangeable frag racks. The beauty of all this is really they're just the price. You know, 10, 15 pounds. You can't buy anything at the supermarket for that nowadays. It's just so cheap. You've got all your mushroom baskets here as well. Absolutely fantastic. And look at the colours. You can choose your colours. You can choose your sizing. All of it is interchangeable. So if you buy one product, it will, you know, these, these racks here, all interchangeable as well. And you can just swap them in and swap them out. And they look so smart. You know, you've got your little nano range. You've got your larger ones there as well. As I say, the ones I've got in my tank are all from Aquaprint. Here's your media racks here as well. You've got those uh, for your bio balls, for your sump. And then you've got your, over here, your media cups. It's just a huge operation. Oh, these are, these are an exclusive here. So these are the shades. Now, if you might have seen them on Steve's Mog's Aquarium, you put them on top of your Radian or your Hydras. Yeah, and you, they will direct the light directly into your tank rather than getting that spill light. So they're just a really smart, simple, sleek design just to stop that spill of light that you don't want outside your reef tank. So, so many products again on show here. Absolutely love this company. From day one, if you want some reefing bits, extras, your frag racks, your mushroom baskets, everything else on offer absolutely superb check them out aquaprint hopefully they have a good show here at love to reef 2023 and it's so good to see them back again for another one just finished our action packed day at Love to Reef and oh my god it has been a completely full day out. Set off at 6 o'clock this morning, just heading back now, it's about half past 5, made it onto uh, the M1 and it's been absolutely brilliant. Such a warm welcome down south but I'm so glad to be heading back up north, it just seems like you know a bit of a relief. And also the bloody bottles of water are a lot cheaper up here as well, far cheaper. Anyway, just give you a little update of what happened. Well, at half ten, the room just came alive. There's uh, loads and loads of people came in, and I was just chatting to lots and lots of people, having conversations about reef tanks and corals and livestock, all that sort of stuff. It would have been impossible to film, so I am sorry I couldn't film all the conversations. But I'll just give you a little snippet of some of the highlights of the day. So we had uh, a talk from Reef Factory. Most of that was about the product range, which I think I've kind of covered on the video earlier when I showed you the stand. So that, a lot of that was kind of covered. But they mentioned this kind of social media, the Social Reef Factory app, which was really interesting. It's kind of a hybrid between YouTube and Instagram. And that will then be for reefers to post content and pictures of your tank. That did sound really interesting, actually. I was quite, uh, I was quite intrigued about that interesting development keep an eye out for that one uh, then we had a talk from TMC uh, that was about sustainable fisheries and we looked at Hawaii and the Maldives Indonesia and how we can uh, take wild caught fish but also keep the hobby sustainable and keep the reefs more importantly sustainable as well um, and that's important to me and I know it's important to our viewers on the channel and also everybody else in the hobby then we had some Q&A, uh, lots of audience, great questions from the audience, asking the experts in there as well. Whilst that was going on, I nipped over to AAC to pick up my sun coral, which is now in the boot of the car. So excited for that one, really am. That's gonna sit just beautifully in that cave, that dark cave, uh, when I spot feed it, boom. Loads of color in there, so that should look really nice. Had a few tips from Scott, and Reef King as well uh, on how to look after that. But if you've got a sun coral or had sun, sun corals, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Any tips how to be successful with a sun coral? That'd be absolutely fantastic. I can't make you guys watch the whole video and not show you what I've picked up today. So I've got uh, my macro element, uh, KH alkalinity, just topping up those for the dose set. I've also picked up some Coral Essentials CVE. Now I know Mog's Aquarium raves about this stuff. I'm gonna give you my little thoughts on it as well. I'm gonna start dosing one mil a day, see how we get on with that stuff. 
Uh, interested to see the outcomes. I know it promises big. And then the big purchase today is here, the Sun Coral. It's absolutely stunning. Obviously, it's very closed up at the moment. And I haven't even seen it open because you have to feed them to open them. Uh, they're quite advanced in terms of care level. They do like caves or dark spaces. And the response when they're feeding is absolutely incredible. Super, super vibrant oranges and yellows. So I can't wait to get that in the tank. I'm just going to give it a little dip. And then we're going to put it in the tank. If you want to see this sun crawl and see how it gets on, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow the channel, and see how I get on with this expert sun coral. Yeah, she's a, she's a beauty. Just, you know, one of them places that if you're into the hobby, you're just immersed in it for the whole day. It's just fantastic. Really enjoyed myself. But I'm going to get myself home now, get the coral in the tank, have a cup of tea. But it's been a long day, but well worth it. Uh, for more updates, check out the live stream on Friday, Friday night live stream. That is 8pm uh, GMT time with me, Fish Palace, who uh, runs the whole show, uh, Steve from Mugs Aquarium and the Bearded Reef. Check that out. We'd love to catch up with you and give you a post analysis of Love to Reef and uh, join us in the chat for that one as well. That'll be absolutely great. But I'm gonna leave you there for now, guys. If you're still watching the video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate us. Hit us up in the comments, yeah. Hit us up in the comments of anything you've seen, any questions that you've got, what we could do to be better. And if you know how to look after sun corals, yeah, give me any tips in the comments section as well. But you take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.